I'm Lynn McKenzie. My name's Chad Shoesberry. Hi, I'm Mark Saposnik, and we're here at Resort at Squaw Creek. Well, here at Resort at Squaw Creek, we're located in Olympic Valley, which has a history uh, of, this was the actual location here of uh, the 1960 Winter Olympic Games. And uh, so we have that legacy here, and of course the beautiful Sierra Nevada backdrop, uh, which can't be beat. So you have unlimited exploration right out your door here. From summer activities, hiking, biking, paddling, or going to Lake Tahoe to the winter where you have Nordic activities extending into the, into the hills of Squaw Valley. Uh, we also have Six Peaks here at the uh, Olympic Valley in the village here, so we featured our restaurant at Six Peaks. This resort sits on what was the Polson property, and uh, Wayne and Sandy Polson, they were uh, one of the two, they were the original founders of this Squaw Valley region here. They actually purchased quite a bit of the land. Um, and in 19, uh, in the 80s, it, the decision was made, hey, this is such a beautiful location, wouldn't it be a great place for a resort? And kind of plans progressed from there, and in 1990, you, you see the, the resort debuted and uh, has had quite uh, an existence ever since then. And what it is here is, uh, you know, on the lower levels you have almost like a Frank Lloyd Wright style that kind of blends into the hillside uh, with some uh, natural tones. But the, the lodging tower itself is all black smoked glass. And the theory behind that was that uh, with 405 rooms going into the valley, and this is, you know, a fairly secluded valley, uh, fairly compact area, uh, the idea was to have the actual lodging tower blend in uh, to the background and with the smoke glass you have reflections of the mountains when you're nearby and from a distance it blends in so much that uh, sometimes people don't even recognize that it is uh, back amongst the trees here and at the edge of the valley. So we have you know our pools here we actually have three pools and a hot tub complex uh, that adjoins it. Beautiful scenery, uh, great views from the pool. Um, Oasis Bar and Grill is located there and so you can enjoy uh, beverages and food. In fact, we have poolside mojito service. And adjacent to that over here on the patio, just below us, we have uh, Sandy's Pub, which is open uh, for lunch and dinner daily. A great place to hang out, have a drink, have a cocktail, um, and pick up some uh, tasty food, um, whether it be for lunch or dinner. The coolest thing I have to say is uh, the people. Um, you definitely get a mixed variety of people coming through here and you make great relationships with them. That's why I like this place. beverage supervisor here at the resort at Squaw Creek and I'm here to show you how to make a Bloody Mary on our um, breakfast Bloody Mary and Mimosa self-serve bar. So when you order from your server you will be brought a glass of ice vodka and a piece of celery for your Bloody Mary and then we have a few different choices. Um, we have tomato juice and V8. My personal preference is V8 just for a classic Bloody Mary, and you only put a little bit, maybe about halfway. I like to do a little bit of um, horseradish, which is also pretty standard. Maybe about this much. And then of course, celery salt, which is also pretty classic and standard. Just a little bit. Now here's my personal preference. I like garlic powder. We also have um, other different garnishes and spices. Um, most of these were developed upon um, guest request, so people suggested things and we made it happen. And garlic powder was one of them. So I like to use just a little bit for flavor. Stir it with your piece of celery. And then you have a choice. Um, smoked paprika is usually standard. Um, some people prefer not to add it. I like just a little bit. And then we have um, a few different pickled veggies. I 
like mine a little spicy, so I add jalapenos. Maybe just one or two. And then instead of um, Kalamata olives, I like classic standard green olives. One and two. So now that you've got your basics, you can add your garnishes to taste. So, I'm gonna add a little bit more V8 because I didn't fill my glass up yet. Like this. I like mine a little bit spicy. So we're gonna take some tapatillo, which is my personal favorite. Just a few drops, and that's probably good. And then, of course, a little bit of Worcestershire. And you absolutely can't have a Bloody Mary without A1. There we go. And that should be about right. And right over here, we have some shakers. Put that all in there. Shake it up. Pour it back into the glass. Add the celery stick and we're done. I'm Anna and welcome to the resort at Squaw Creek.